I have said at home before, being faithful to four niggas, and all four of them cheated on me. Sis, I'm telling you, I'm here to help you. Help me help you. Slay me queen, slay me queen. Slay me queen, slay me queen. Slay me queen, slay me queen. Mommy, mommy did her thing. Pop your pussy and pussy and so that shit can't survive. I don't keep hope alive. We just keep hoes alive. What's up Dream Team? It is I the Dream King Dream Doll and I'm back again for another video and welcome to Dreamland where we don't daydream, we slay dream. If you are new to my channel, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And slap that subscribe button and give me a big 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 thumbs up. Let's get this video to 20 plus likes. I don't know why it's got to be 20. I just say 20. Y'all been meeting the Dream Team has been coming through 100%. I really, really, really appreciate y'all if I do not tell y'all enough. I don't know why I am just all over the place today. I am wild. I am just I ain't got no shirt on. Like, I got my, my cleavage out. It just, I, I don't know. I'm just I'm in a different space today. Um, am I missing something? Notification bell. Hit my notification bell, please. Because you don't want to miss anything that I am going to be uploading. So, without further ado, we are going to jump into the video because I'm tired. I just got off from work like two hours ago and I'm up trying to record this shit for y'all. Uh, so, yeah, let's just get into it. So, normally, I don't take the route in which my channel is serious. I have a few serious videos. Hold on, bitch. Let me get comfortable. So, normally, I don't take serious routes on my channel because this is not the content that I use. Now, although I do have a few serious videos, this video is actually redoing an old serious video that I had that I didn't get any views for just simply because it was probably boring as hell. But that was because I was trying to do something different on my channel that I'm probably not going to do the fuck again. But we just going we gonna to do a rebirth of this video. I'm going to put the link to the video in the description box and I might put like a little thingy here so you can click on it or whatever whatever you want to do I don't give a damn uh, hell I don't care if you don't even watch the video but let's just get on with this one the video that I'm remaking was a video that I named letting go or get drugs it was something like that let me see cause I don't want to be lying to y'all yeah letting go or get drugs and basically the video was about letting go of relationships that are toxic. Did I say it right? Are toxic. Okay, I didn't put the C on the end of that. I don't know. I, le I guess I left it in my throat. But uh, letting go of relationships that are toxic. And I did it again. <laughs> letting go of relationships that are toxic. Y'all got to excuse my country ass accent. I'm sorry. But letting go relationships that are toxic, bitch, got it. So, when you don't let go of relationships like that, they drain you physically, emotionally. You just, you just over everything, you over life. You are supposed to be a positive energy. You are supposed to be a source of light in these shitty ass relationships. He don't want you, let his ass go. Cause I promise you, it's going to hurt you a whole lot more to get drugged, get drugged, than just to let go. So what he don't want you, girl? Suck his best friend dick. Suck his daddy dick. I ain't going to say that. I ain't for revenge. I'm lying. I'm all for it. But the thing is, you going to have to do what's best for you. And if staying in that relationship is not good for you, then bitch, guess what the fuck you need to be trying to do? You need to pack up your shit. Get your shit, get your shit, and get the fuck up out of there. You look like a dummy staying with somebody that don't want you or somebody that's cheating on you or somebody that just ain't gonna do you right. I don't know sad ass stories and sob stories that he takes you talking about he's sorry. Fuck him. Okay? Fuck him. Like, you may leave him and they may act like that they don't care, but guess what, bitch? If you got some good pussy, they will be back. And when he try to come back and you ain't got a nigga or you hoeing or you doing your thing, you make sure you say him good pussy, bitch, cops. Good pussy, bitch, cops. Don't even count on him. You count on his friend. You let his friend 
fold you up like a chicken wing. Give you that main thing a lane, you know what I mean? And what really grinds my damn gears is the fact that they fucking leave you for raggedy ass bitches, bitches that ain't got no jobs, no cars, no license, no money, nowhere to eat, nowhere to sleep, no nothing, absolutely nothing to their name but a bunch of hospital bills. And here you go, got everything and some car, money, house, you got everything. And you mean to tell me you want a raggedy, ratchet ass bitch that ain't got a pot to piss or shit in, as opposed to me, I got a fucking gold toilet. It just blows me at the bitches that y'all go and find and cheat with. And they be some ugly ass hoes. That's what makes it so bad, bitch. If you are going to cheat on me, you need to cheat on somebody that look ten times better than me. Bitch, look, let me tell you something. Your new bitch couldn't fuck with me with a 10 foot pole if I gave it to him. Your new bitch can't fuck with a picture of me. Sis, what do these niggas be doing? You a bad bitch. You don't need nobody to buy shit for you. You don't need him to pay for you. You pay for him. And motherfuckers always want to pull it to the line. Well, I brought this to the table. You might have brought some things to the table. But, sweetheart. I brought the table. And the chair that you sitting in. So I don't know where GPS told you to come here. But you best reroute with the bullshit, okay? I do not like this angle. What the hell is going on? Okay, we're good now. We're good. We're great. We're great. I'm reading you bitches today. That's why I got my glasses on. On a serious note, you harbor the same energy you had in the last relationship with the new one. And it's kind of hard not to because you don't want to get done the same way that you did in the last relationship. Which is understandable because nobody wants to get cheated on twice. Unfortunately, my punk ass has been cheated on every relationship that I've been in. As you know, that's not the case for every person. But anyway, you don't want to get done the same way twice. So you try to have a guard up that can really mess up something good. And you can't carry that damn guard up everywhere. You're going to have to leave that shit at the house in the goddamn bed when you get out of it. Because you're going to mess up something good. You don't want to do that. You can miss your Prince Charmer, your Princess Charming or whatever. I ain't never heard of no Princess Charming. But whatever, you get the point what I'm saying. You can miss something good if you hold baggage from an old relationship. Me, it's just a habit. I'm scared that I'm going to get cheated on again. That's why I hold up this big ass wall because I don't want it done to me twice. I couldn't handle it the first time and I'm not going to be able to handle it the second. So it's like naturally I would carry this, would carry this dark cloud around with me and it was just fucking rain on my parade. Like every time I feel like something is wrong or something is gonna be wrong or something ain't right, I just automatically, I'm just like, nope, nope, mm -mm. not gonna happen, I'm out of here. And you end up leaving somebody that was really, 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 really good for you and y'all are compatible. And you don't wanna do that because you're gonna end up a lonely little hoe with 10 kids, 15 cats, and you're gonna live in a shoe, okay? That's the story behind the woman that had all them damn cats and lived in that shoe. Did she have cats? I think she had cats and lived in a shoe. That's what you're gonna be. So y'all gonna have to stop keep toting around this baggage of shit, and it includes me, I'm telling y'all, but that includes me too. We often rush into relationships because we are bored. I am a victim of that, okay? I have rushed into relationships, other relationships, because I was bored and... <sighs> I have rushed into other relationships because I was bored and I just wanted to be with somebody because I didn't want to be by myself. Them bitches fall apart quicker than you can put them together. You are using people as pain pills. Just to get rid of the pain, just to drain out all the pain. You just looking for something to fill an empty hole in your heart. And that could pop very well just not mean shit to you, okay? One thing I have learned is people gonna do what they wanna do. You can be faithful as a motherfucker. You are going to get cheated on if he feel like cheating or if she feel like cheating. End the story. 
I have said at home before, being faithful to four niggas, and all four of them cheated on me. Sis, I'm telling you, I'm here to help you. Help me help you. If bitch feel like cheating, you gonna get cheated on. End the story. It ain't no, I was faithful, you need to be faithful to No, if the bitch a cheater, the bitch a cheater. That's why you need to check the car facts on these motherfuckers before you get with them. You need to run the details on these used up ass cars, on these damn lemons, before you pull them off the damn lot because you don't want no garbage when you get home, okay? You don't want no garbage when you get home. So y'all gonna have to start checking the details on these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers, it's not. Straight out here, okay? Even though that is true, you still have the power to put your foot down and say, Now wait a minute, bitch! I'm not gonna have that in here. You got the power. Don't let these bitches do you any kind of way now. Niggas and bitches. I'm saying bitches, I'm referring to both, but I guess I should have separated them. Don't let these motherfuckers do what the fuck they want to do to you. Let them motherfuckers go or get drugged. This you gonna get up half dead with scars and scratches all over your ass. I know y'all, that video was all over the place. Nothing was in a specific order, but I really thank y'all for watching. If y'all done made it this far, I hope y'all got something out of it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let's get this video to 20 plus likes. If you don't like the video, bitch, at least give me a thumbs up and a subscribe because my outfit cute. But like I said, thank y'all for watching. I'll see you motherfuckers in the next video. Bye. Yo, yo, she got she got a thumb. She got a